Hello, everybody, and welcome to Back in the Box. I'm Ben. And I'm Paul. And uh, we are here to take a look at Dice Throne Adventures and find out what's all in this book-shaped box. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a serious book. <laughs> I mean, this is, ju this is just Lord of the Rings, or one of the Lord of the Rings <laughs> books, right? This is like the Lord of the Rings coffee table book. <laughs> Uh, and uh, what we'll be doing is opening uh, up this uh, copy of Dice Throne Adventures and see and rating kind of like the, the quality and the craftsmanship of the, the different pieces and the cardboard and stuff. Uh, and then after we've taken everything out and analyzed it all, we're going to see how easy it is to put it back in the box, which is kind of the the age-old thing that I have yeah. to deal with on a regular basis when it comes to playing board games on this channel. And I'm, I'm excited about this because we've uh, we've played a lot of the not adventure Dice Throne. Just like the regular yeah. Dice Throne games. Uh, to the extent that we have multiple iterations of the original Dice Throne things, which like the original component, like the original Dice Throne uh, characters that they put out were like fine, but yeah. not amazing components. Yeah. And then they re-released them with like really nice components. Yeah, the box and everything for them is just like uh, super duper impressive. And theoretically this is this is, you know, from this is since they've re-released the other one. So I'm expecting good stuff here. Yeah, because we had the we had like a prototype at first. I yeah, believe. so we played yeah. this once before on stream, but we yeah, we played like a prototype version mm -hmm. of it with like a 3D printed 3D printed stuff to things. So we haven't actually seen the real the real thing. The real deal. Well, uh, it's it's factory sealed, so we'll pull out our handy dandy slicer, and uh, yeah, let's 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 crack this bad boy open. It's heavy, yeah. Too. Uh, shout Con out to Roxy. Like the the box itself is actually just like really really gorgeous. All the pieces too. Have contents here. Uh, it says contents. Uh, it includes four vac trays with lids. Cool. So already we're way ahead on the <laughs> on the putting stuff back yeah. together part. <laughs> Ostensibly, the the vacuum sealed trays are going to fit back within <laughs> this. One would hope. <laughs> yeah, it's got it's got legacy environment, legacy cards, boss hero boards, boss leaflets. Does legacy like imply like that? There's like formats of, of Dice Throne Adventures that you can play. I'm looking forward to Commander Dice Throne Adventures. This box so. By the way, I think actually it's important to note here on the back. Mm -hmm. Note this box is an expansion. This doesn't actually contain any Dice Throne characters. No, wait, hold on. This box contains an expansion. Yeah. One or more Dice Throne heroes are required to play. Wait, oh, it's in like, okay, hold on. <laughs> there's, there's some grammar I'm missing here. Does that say that this has the game and an expansion in it? Or that this is an expansion and you need... This, this, this is an expansion. Oh, okay. <laughs> so all well, of damn. this, all of this, yeah, is not, not actually any dice throne characters. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, let's see what we got. I mean, we have all the dice throne characters, so, so we're good. So you need to get dice throne as well, like as well as this. Yeah. To play, okay, huh? One or more dice throne heroes are required to play. That is interesting, huh? Okay. Well, let's get all this off here. Uh, all right, one to four players, 60 minutes. This is how we regularly open books. Got to put some dry ice in <laughs> so it goes <laughs> yeah, a little bit more grandiose. <laughs> there we go. All right, what do we got here? Uh, we got uh, the book with, uh, it's always it's always a good um, uh, that they, they Stand behind their book when they say, "Do you want to? Do you not want to read this?" Reading. Here's, yeah. the, here's the YouTube link. Go do that instead. Uh, it's all this stuff. All the different components and whatnot. By the way, there oh, we go. A token tray. I'm very to excited token to tray, and also like a little key for like where to put everything back into. Mm, yeah. So you know exactly. We've also got. Oh, this is your camp. Oh, so you do like a campaign. In yeah, this. It's yeah. Like your, so you can, this is how you keep track of all your different sessions, your team name, and uh, your chosen heroes and stuff. Oh, this is really cool. I thought it was kind of like a one-off sort of game. Yeah. But, uh, and, is this and, actually like a legacy thing? I, I guess. Remember. Well, I mean, they said I, that's I guess what legacy things mean. 
in there maybe when it was on the back of the box when right. it was like Duh. legacy cards and stuff. Yeah, I was I was thinking it meant in in the sense of like older, but, like but, older cards. Yeah, but, but yeah, I guess that's the, yeah, <laughs> duh, of <laughs> course. The, so the campaign sheet is double sided and it's actually like made of some nice uh, nice paper too, which is great. And it, it's always nice to have the first thing that you, or one of the first things you see when you open it adds for more things yeah. for you to buy. <laughs> yeah, more, more ways in which that you can yeah. spend money. Yeah, and more things that were not included in this ginormous box. Mm -hmm. Uh, all right, so we got a whole lot of punchy out things. Oh, okay. So on, to, like on the the back here, these are the standees at least. Right. So right. if you don't if you don't have like the the miniatures, uh, at least yeah, you've got the the standees and whatnot too. And they're they're I mean they're very nice too looking. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. The the art for Dice Throne has always been excellent. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and then. Ah, so this is the this is trays of, upon trays, <laughs> like <laughs> you know, empty empty trays in a box are always very. It's very interesting because of course they these are for all the things that we have to punch out. Yeah, for the thing. but this this is this is literally a board game designed for this show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the whole thing is here's how you can better store like the, our entire board game in here. I think this is a board game made by people who have played a lot of board games and yeah. are frustrated with them the same way we are. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you got these little spinny things. Oh, these are really neat. They're uh um uh, pre put together too. Yeah, nice. so I was actually just about to say, like, um, we've got the uh, the what you call it, uh, Marvel Champions, mm. um, which has similar little trackers like this. But you have to assemble them yourself. You have to ah. individually punch out each thing and get these little dealy bops and slap them together and stuff. So I kind of, I kind of appreciate that most of this stuff is already just pre assembled and ready to go. Yeah, I mean, there's still some punch out cards, mm -hmm. but it's not. Uh, and then we got a bunch of dice. Obviously, dice thrown. Um, every character has its own their own set of dice. Yeah. But uh, these are the dice for the bosses and stuff, I guess. Right. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, there is no the, the there's no actual just like characters so far that we've seen. You do need to have like your own yeah character. So it's like yeah, uh, you'd probably want to buy a, a, a set of dice thrown first, and then you're like, cool. Now I want to do this in an adventure. Environment. Uh, That's the way to go. And then uh, four d20s. Nice. Real d20s, not not spin downs. Yep. Here's all the standy uh, holders. There's a lot of them too. So I guess like maybe there's a lot of like enemies or something. Realizing that this the size of this box is like putting the rest of it in shadow. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> so big. Uh, and then so we got more trays. Oh, this one's heavy. What's in here? This has got... God, the art for this is incredible. Uh, so this has a bunch of... Different cards, Cardboard mats. Loot. Uh, loot chart. Loot tables and stuff. Uh, oh, and here's the... This. Oh, I see. These are the... So these are the character sheets for the... Uh, for the bosses. Oh, okay. So the which and the guys who so the guys who fight are fallen versions of so these are like full on characters, like you would get in the regular dice throwing game. Oh, interesting. So but does somebody the, play like the the DM of a sense? Uh, to this, I, I no, I think I think the there's there's the 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 character kind of goes there's like a I think there's a pack of cards. Oh, that's right. That, that sort of they work. Aut, that sort of automates the character playing. Yeah. That, at least that's how the. Prototype worked. It might, it might have changed. Maybe they were like, "That yeah. was a stupid idea. Let's do something different now." I am enjoying one thing about the show that we are kind of like going in blind on this, yeah. like just sort of taking everything at face value. Uh, but God, these these are so good. I remember the the first edition of this kind of stuff came out, and it was just square. Yes, basically. And now these just have so much character and dimension to them. They're really and really yeah, cool. fallen gunslinger. Yeah, they. And it, the the art, as well as being really nice, uh, is also um, very consistent. Like they mm -hmm. must have either one very busy artist, <laughs> or sort of a, a a stable of artists that are all doing things in a similar style. Yeah, at least like a team that can all kind of work on these. Uh, and then we have the fallen monk, and then we have 
the Mad King. Ooh. Because that's the one on the box. Well, because so so there's the thing where like you know we played a lot of dice, a fair amount of dice thrown on the on the stream. Yeah. But there's this like whole storyline behind Dice Throne. Right, because they had a comic. Or they have a comic. Or yeah, like I remember or there's, there's, there's like some it. yeah, some additional stuff I think with their Kickstarter. Yeah. Um that like the premise is that there's this like mad king who's in charge of everything. Mm -hmm. And that all these different and each character like on the website and stuff, each character has like a little thing that like you know, it's like in, in like fighting games where it's like the reason why Guile has joined this yeah. tournament is to prove himself. Blah, blah, blah. That's, the, that's the text that as you start arcade mode that you yeah like yeah yeah and start just to get by it. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so they, they've got that that for this as well. Um, so these all fit nicely right back into their tray with these. And they, they've got their, sheets their, their too. little. You know, these are the um, the sheets that have like uh, uh, what oh, their right abilities there, do, their effects and stuff, and then their uh, rule. Uh, Facts and rules and stuff, uh, and then That's what the we got? Oh Jesus! <laughs> this is where all this stuff is. <sighs> that's that's that. Wait, that's got some heft to it, that's, and it's not even full. Yeah, that is just. This is serious, serious weightiness. Oh, this is really impressive. Holy moly! So, and in here we've got. Uh, so these are separators uh, for oh, what, what okay. looks like uh, the different cards and stuff. Uh, love it when games do like this. Uh, Red Dragon Inn has uh, done this with the, their character trove and stuff. So just straight up dividers for the cards, so they're nice and easy to so, uh, to get in there. So you can put them in here. And look, there's yeah. even like little uh, there's, there's like know, notches. Yeah, I don't know if you can put the light and see yeah. it. But. Maybe like that. But there's like little notches along the sides of this. Which is yeah, yeah. Which these little guys hook right into. So, holy love doodle. that. That's really impressive. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like a whole, a whole uh, uh, like design thing. Yeah, this is manufactured by people that uh, uh, definitely. All right, so know. we've got legacy packs. Here. Oh, okay. So there is like the, the like a campaign kind of thing going on oh. with that. We, so we we're, can't open these. By the time this comes out, we may have already played it, but we're going to be playing this later on uh, in a couple in, weeks. In a couple weeks. Yeah. And I'm like getting more excited to play this. As yeah, I was already kind of stoked about yeah, it. But yeah. Well, I'm stoked because you're going to be on this. <laughs> and I think I think James is going to be running tech for it. So. Mm hmm. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> yeah, James, James is on camera right now. There we go. <laughs> Ding. Uh, so then these are the tiles. So right. the, the idea is that uh, it's like modular. Yeah, as you as you through. as you play, you're sort of it's almost like a, a how, betrayal in House of the Hill or something, right? Like, yeah, where you as like you like move through, to a new room. you go to a different room. Remember, I was talking to I think was it you or Serge that was just like. That there's like a time limit yeah. thing where you want to try yeah. and like get through in a certain amount of time. So at least again in the these appear to be in some kind of order. It says, oh, okay. like, it says like crimson sands and beads. These are all have ones on them, and then these twos. Oh, interesting. Oh, I, all right. I guess it won't be that hard to get it back. This is boss portal, so I'll just do that. Um, but yeah, in the in the prototype that we played, uh, there was this mechanic where it was like you can dig around and like get stuff by. Uh, um, by like farming minions and mm -hmm. stuff, but the longer you wait, the more powerful the final boss gets. Okay, so you kind of there is like a little bit of you can't just sit around and grind the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Now the, in the prototype we played, there was like a some balance issues in the sense that we like basically beelined for the boss and, and we still he, got clapped and we still got totally hammered. <laughs> <laughs> but like maybe that was because we yeah. suck. I don't know. So there's uh, yeah a bunch of these different legacy packs. This one's actually like foil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the back, which is really interesting. So this is Legacy Pack D, and we have Legacy Pack C, uh, and then yeah, these appear to be all the. Uh, these look like yeah, these are the cards. Uh, probably loot, I guess. But you uh, do, you do like grab cards and stuff for the or maybe no no uh, these, these are the um, the boss decks. Yeah, so these yeah. are the boss. So this is like basically what their um, uh, their cards the, do when they spend the command points and stuff. Or, or it's like what the what the guy's gonna do this turn. Oh, okay, yeah. I think is the idea. Yeah. Interesting. And then yeah, we have another. Th oh, this is Legacy Pack A. This is where it all begins. Uh, and then we have oh, and the, these are all. Uh, these are all the cards of the um, the little the like the minions that you fight. Oh, okay. 
Wow, there, there's a, there's so many. Look how many <laughs> characters there are. And this, they, they go like one to four, I guess. This, like maybe not on the same scale, but like this is comparable to like looking at like Gloomhaven in terms of like all of these like individual campaign pieces and cards and stuff. For, yeah, they're really uh, going to get into like this. And is so the wild. idea, yeah, the idea with these little these minions is they're like a very simplified version because normally Dice Throne is a PvP game. Yes. Um, and so these are like a very simplified version of a character where it's like if he gets you know, roll his dice, if he gets a small straight, if he gets a large straight, you know, his pat like all the different stuff that he does. Um, so the the dice rolling mechanic allows them to build an AI relatively easily. Yeah, yeah. So you get all of these pieces and, you know, on top of the fact that basically it turns a game that you might already own, which right. is like regular dice thrown, into this campaign mode D and D sort of thing like yeah and it changes it from a pvp game into a co-op game yeah which is, is interesting too it's wild and yeah. the fact yeah that it's got this like through line um i assume as well once you've gone through because it's like like risk legacy is like there's some replay value because you do like you right. can like i don't know risk legacy you're supposed like once you're done you're supposed to, you can then like use that map. As yeah, like and Pandemic Legacy is the same way. I don't know if we've ever done that. If we've no. gone back, but once we were done Risk Legacy, we're like nobody ever wants to play Legacy. <laughs> <laughs> Risk we can't play Risk anymore. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's the general concept going in. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we've been kind of easily sliding everything back in as this has gone along. Um, I mean, yeah, like, I guess let's let's try and get everything. Oh, this is this vacuum seal. And yeah, then... there's there's definitely <laughs> as much thought gone into the, uh, like, the, the making of this whole thing. Look, sorry. Yeah. Look, no, no, no. This is, this is, this is so crucial to this. Like, the, the, I don't, I don't know if I can show it with the, it's like black on black. Mm -hmm. But the inside of the the where where these little health things go, not only has little uh, divots for them, but like there's an indent of the of the little uh, the two dials. Oh right, yeah. So like when the the backs of them are so it'll like, like sit flush. Yeah. It's just excessive, is what that is. <laughs> yeah, is there is there a rating that we go over? Like, you, you know what? This yeah. is too oh, oh, designed. And you see, you see, like these ones are double thick, mm -hmm. right? Double thick. Yeah. Big thick. And they're they're flat on both sides because they have a thing on there. This one is only single and has the this. So that uh, means so this one goes against the thing. Right. So I guess and you it, don't. Uh... It's just it's just like. Somebody definitely took a lot of time to be like, this is gonna go here. I hope this was just one person's like baby. Like the, yeah. the whole, like the whole vacuum seal thing, like, huh, this is like incredibly impressive. Yeah, so then these each individually just go back in here. I can't believe how thick this one is. Uh, and then that, and then like that. There, there. Oh, I guess this goes like that. Uh, and then these go on top. Yeah, I mean, I guess the one the one downside of this is this is just for your campaign stuff, right? right. You still have your entire other box that's full of each of the individual yeah. characters. I mean, that being said. Uh, I think I have actually got it behind oh. on uh, in our in our storage. Yeah. There. That, that being said, the dice throne uh, hero box is also yeah very well. Well, made. it's each, it's individual slats for these vacuum sealed bags. Like that's the box of it, yeah. which is really impressive. This is probably one of the best designs in terms of or like the ease of putting things back in like maybe it's yeah. a little bit more zany when you've got all the pieces out from like doing your campaign yeah, yeah. and whatnot but at least there's just like a place where everything lives yeah i mean i'm excited about the game uh but you know i have no we we haven't played it yet so i don't know how good the game is but it, the the box is very nice yeah i would <laughs> i feel like i would give this like 5 uh 
times you would get a Yahtzee, but there's only four dice out of five that are all the same one, and you get like a reroll, and you reroll a different one, and it just stays four forever. It's five of those <laughs> out of five. Yeah, like if 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 anything is going to be a five out of five on this show, this has got this be has got to be yeah, up this there. has got to be like the gold standard. Yeah, for for whatever our stupid rating I, systems have turned out. I, I was gonna go for like a six on a D six. Oh, but. that makes. <laughs> You know, let's go with that one. That's infinitely easier to follow. <laughs> a six on a D6 out of six. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or out of five. I don't know. Because it was even better. <laughs> uh, but that's going to do it for uh, Dice Throne Adventures here on Back in the Box. This was a, a grand slam, and I'm very, very excited to for us to actually crack into the game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, YouTube, if uh, it's out, YouTube link will be in the description for uh, our actual gameplay of it. Um, but a uh, reminder that this show is brought to you by you over at our Patreon at patreon.com slash loading ready run. We appreciate all your support. Uh, and for all of us uh, here at Back in the Box, I've been Ben. I'm Paul. And uh, James is over there filming. And Ben is probably. I'm probably going to be editing this. Yeah, like hi, hi, future or future me, past me. I don't, hi, let's let's see you later. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>